jetzt in Nadine Nisamina nach so viel. Ich habe jetzt auch hier einen Vertrag auf das Vorhinein, Tu fahrfinde, ja, mir sind vor Initio, dazu zu Mama, Tina, um Feinde zu machen, zu meinen Lungen, um Feinde zu verhindern, in den Nähen, Afiafi. Greetings in the wonderful name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, this Christmas Eve. Wie ihr alle zu, um Feinde zu machen, um Feinde zu machen. Ei, bitte sie die Feinde, und ich fahre zu, 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 if at a tau lava ile fana o mayo yesu kiriso ile la rolani so be ole atale na ole tato um uh our window pull in here yeah yeah so the word of the lord tonight is about it's all about the birth of our lord and savior jesus christ and we'd like to go to the word of god to understand um god's will for us with regards to the birth of the messiah so tato tau ya on tato fa lu mule fa ta sima u po le tu o yenia yeah yeah let us pray after I tell you, I'm going to go to the house, 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 I'm going to go to the le I'm going to go to the house, 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 I'm going to go Moi mato le me foi o mato o mai le nia fiafi o vai na um malava a ua tui na mai e por calame o mato o tua alau fio a le foi o mato o mai le mato te tui to ma natu mato te tui ma natu a mato te tui va va ai ilo o lofa faria ilo fa na o mai o Jesus Cristo ilo la rolani na fio mai o ia o mato o tua o ia o le malo malama o le malo malama foi le Oleola o imato umalaba, so ole vi ina fa foia te oe leo le imato fa no mo mo ile a o mai o la upu le nia fia fi fa foi le vi ina te oe fa mo nia la fa nau mo so se ta si la vo lo mo le fa noa e fa no mo mo mai le nia fia fi fa mo nia no no loto i nia umalaba fa foia te oe le vi ina te oe ono Jesu and we all say amen and amen. So this morning, uh, this afternoon, we had uh, the reading of the scriptures um, throughout uh, this evening from Lole. We, we saw the, the, um, the birth of Jesus Christ according to Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew. Sabali so read um, the birth of Jesus Christ and we saw the message of the angels to the shepherds in the book of Luke. Um, and then we also had Brother Oli share um, in the book of Matthew the record of the Magi, or the wise men, that went to visit the baby Jesus Christ. Le nea fiafi sa tato fa alo molomo i le faita wina o le tala le i le fana o mai o le fa aola o Jesu keriso. A o faita wina e nisi o tato uso a na faita wina le moli mau a mateo i na wofa peatu le a ngenu ya Josefa a mai Maria a wa o lona to e mai le a nganga pa ia o le fana o mai e te fai mua ya te ia o Jesu. Faita wina e sapa pali'i, le tusi ilea le moni mawa luka, o lo yai le au a ngenu, le mata mo fia o lea po ina ua si o si o mia le au leo leo maa moe e a ngenu. Ma ua lato o faa pea tu, o le aso nei ua faana wai i betele e ma, le pepe po o le a li'i faaola o Yesu Keriso. Ma le baina le na faita wina e oli le tusi a maa tayo, o le malanga a maa koi a, o faa nao Yesu, Ya e fa mai o ma koi mai le tu sae fa mai o la tu ya na la tu o mai e sa ili mai le pepe o fa te a o na fa nau fa mai o le tupu o ta na te u taya e tolu me alo fa na la tu fo i na if we read the story of the magi there are three gifts that they offer up and the first gift was gold the second gift was frankincense and the third gift was myrrh and all of these represent kingly gifts ah so they 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 are gifts that are rightful for kings. O me alofa ye tolu, o me alofa tato te va aye, o me alofa e fata tau lava itupu. So, a o me alofa fo ila aye, tato te va aye aye, le le mesia po o le tu, o ia na fio mai, o ia o le mesia o le auro, e fata tau pe tu si vima na i, o ia o le tupu. 
o le pulu li pano e fa apea ona o le o le o swa uma nongile fa anga e faita ulanga le o tatu lo Yesu o ya o le faita ulanga sisi ma le pulu muro e fa tata u le le swa u le mo le te unga o le tangata tino oti ya le tino tangata oti so e fa tata u le me alo fa muli muli Molona Maliu. Ah, so those three gifts, the significance of gold is towards his kingship, um, frankincense towards his priesthood, and we know that Jesus is the high priest. Ah, and the third um, gift that the, that the Magi gave was myrrh, and that was with regards to his death, because myrrh was used to embalm the dead at the time. So over aina umaya tato te faita wina ita tonu le upu ale atua, e faata tau lava i le aso le nei a, so today we're going to look at the prophecies of Christ's birth. So ole tu si mo mola o te fia fa nga ina ole fene nga tu wai ole isaia alono ta ko se fulu ma le tasi so e tele la bana e tu si ole ata to fa nga ina le ne fia fi ai ai ono sa e mai la bala o fa ita o ta to wo fa ata si ile ta to ma ta u fu ile ne fia ni ole ba ina mo mo o te fia ta la no ai ole isaia alono ta ko se fulu ma le tasi fa i ko mo mo so in Isaiah verse, chapter 11, verse 1, we find our first prophecy with, re, with regards to Christ's birth. Um, in English it reads, There shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. So if they tell me, I'm going to say, i Amen. So the first prophecy that we want to look at today is his heritage his heritage was foretold. Nate to imomomoina lo ulu, ao oe, ete to imomomoina lona muli vai. So when we look and consider the prophecies about the Messiah, the first prophecy we find is actually in the time of creation. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 15, when God curses uh, the serpent, and he says to uh, the serpent who was Satan, and then he says to Eve, in verse 15 of Genesis chapter 3, God says to the serpent, and I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. Eve's seed will eventually be Jesus Christ that fulfills this. Ah, praise the Lord. And it says, and he shall bruise your head. Another translation, he shall crush your head, Satan. And only Jesus will fulfill that. Amen. 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 So, Amen. so Amen. Amen. We're reading the book of Isaiah, and in the book of Isaiah, it is a book of um, the prophecies before they were taken captive. So he's known as a pre-captive um, prophet. Ah. 
this prophet Isaiah. And so we understand that his whole book is a book of warnings. So he's giving warnings to the, the nation of Israel. He's giving warnings to the kings of Israel. Um, Isaiah is the most quoted Old Testament prophet in the New Testament. So it's a matter of the or Isaiah. Or here, all it's a matter of a teon at Tusi City, a Tusi City, my yay, Yaila, or a Tusi and a fair hanger full. So if you are feeling in a ille ille upule and a two a ya Isaiah, for my a tupu mile la la ao, ille po mai o yesi. Ole 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 tatia may of a upule to turn on a Tusi Isaiah, a au maya yat ya ille no more Isara elu. A yale tell me only after a fair in nine or two. A yale tell you all only a le fayale fanua, malenu le name, more or two toffee. Ah, I only a abbe a saina pe taita ina for atalata or tawaina or two. Ona or la or two on sala. So the book of Isaiah is with regards to um, the, the people of Israel and the kings of Israel warnings about being taken captive. So that's the context. In which we read these verses. I tato fe tau la le fe upule mo mo o i tato te mo mo ma yai e sau niya fo i le tua le awala e la be i na i lona nu. So when we look at verse one of Isaiah chapter eleven, this is one of the verses in the in the in the prophecies of Isaiah where he gives us insight as to how God will rescue or rescue His people from captivity. It's amazing, ah. And so this is what this is what the Lord says to um, to Israel. So when you see the word branch in the book of Isaiah, the branch references an Old Testament prophecy with regards to the Messiah. So we see here in verse 1, There shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. If I may, a tupu may le la la au, a tupu may le la be ina wisara elu may fia, may le po ngai o yesi, o le fisili, o ai fo yesi ah, o yesi o iya le o le tama o tabita, ai o yesi fo i e e e le tupu anga o yuta le itu aina o yuta. That when we look and consider Jesse, and the question is who is Jesse? Because it says there in verse 1, from the stem of Jesse. And Jesse is from the lineage of the tribe of Judah. Amen. And the reason why we reference the tribe of Judah, because in Genesis 49, if you switch over to Genesis 49, uh, Yuta. <laughs> that when we consider in Genesis 49, 
the lineage of Jesse is from Judah. Amen. And Judah, it says that this was the largest tribe in, in amongst the people and the nation of Israel. I tattooed that the I for you that ah, or e a tupunga mayai le tupu otavita, or e for it at a tema way, or le tupunga otavita, yes, on tama, le tupunga, yes, or yuta, le to I know Isara elu, outavita, na follow for laina, a tupunga mayai le messia. That when we look at the prophecies and the heritage that is foretold about this particular baby, about this Messiah, it says that um, in chapter 11 of Isaiah, it says that shall, um, there shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse. Jesse being the lineage of Judah, Jesse being the father of David, and Jesse, David, a royal lineage, being the lineage of our Messiah, Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. And it was fulfilled. In Matthew chapter 1, Matthew chapter 1, verse 20, from Mele Ma, Tayo Le Na, Mata Uku Mua Mua Faipu E Lua Sefumu, Mai Ao Ma Na Tunato O Ye Na Mea, Le Tala No Ya Yosefa, Wa Fa Ali Mai A Te Yele A Ngelua Le Vi Ile Miti, Wa Fa Pea Mai, Yosefa E Le A Ta Vii O Ta Vita. So, I Fo Ila, E Fa Ata Ua Fa Ata Unu Ua Ile, Le Fola Fola Ma Le A Le Fene Na Tu Wai A, E Tu Punga Mai A Yese, Le La La Au. Amen? So in Matthew chapter 1, verse 20, we see the fulfillment of this Old Testament prophecy. Because it says there about Joseph, But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David. Amen? Amen. So who fulfills the branch? It is Jesus Christ the Messiah. Amen. Number one, that's, first test, uh, that's the first prophecy. Lua. Prophetana on a dual to fear Talanoi, and Moel Isaiah on a tap with Fitu. Isaiah on a tap with Fitu. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, we see another prophecy. A Moel Afe Pesumafa, if you find verse 14, we will read together that verse. Therefore, the Lord Himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name. Emmanuel. Amen. 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 O e for a lana to see a moly bow mateo as it to see my eye, in a mata upule or isaia on tapusuma fa, in a full for lana on a lua, in a nata in lona to puanga, and for my olefano my only messia, for my far now my little bow up. So that if you if you listened carefully to what Lole was reading this uh, evening, um, he quoted in the scriptures in the book of Matthew, Isaiah 7, verse 14. Uh, so Matthew, the gospel writer, quoted this specific verse with regards to the birth of this child or the birth of Christ will be a virgin birth, otherwise a supernatural birth. Amen. In the Ufa Pea on the Fapea to Oleto, a mile and Nama Paira, Tato Tiloi, Ole Pepe Lene, or Lone Tua Tua Atoa lover, Nadio Tino Tamata Oia, Nena Tato Faita to say your name, were Dio Tino Tamata Le Loho. Praise the Lord. That when we consider the birth of this child, even in the conception of the Messiah, it was divine, it was supernatural, it was not natural. So even at the beginning of his life, while he was in Mary's womb, we see that it was his divine nature. Ah. Amen? Amen. So, eopo lava ilifana o mai ole pepe lia, o ia ole atua ua liu tino tangata. Amen? So, even in his birth, from mai le tuspa ia, um, uh, we read there, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear 
a son. If we have a look at the book of Isaiah, this is another verse that is telling about the coming Messiah that will rescue him. Ah. So when we look at the prophet Isaiah, not only is he a prophet of warning, warning them to turn away from their, their sins, warning them that there is a coming of the nation of Babylon to take them captive, but he's also telling them that one day God will also prepare their rescue. Amen. Their salvation. Amen. Amen. So this was fulfilled in Luke uh, chapter 1. Okay, so Maria. So in Luke chapter uh, 1, verse 26, 27, we see the fulfillment of this Old Testament prophecy that says, Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And we also read in verse 35, and it reads, uh, that, And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that Holy One is to who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Amen? So nela wata to ba aya o fol folanga e fat tawi lana tupu anga o le fol folanga foi e fat tawi le fana o mai o le mesia ile tawo a fol folanga lo na tolu o te fia o mai ya le fia file ne e mau ile mika mika a lo na mata o tu e lima o ila e le ngata ile fol folanga e fia ngata tuai o lana tupu anga o le au vale fana o mai ya ile tawo a tatu te ba ai foi. So the third prophecy that I want to look at is not only about his heritage, his heritage was foretold, that his birth was foretold, it would be a virgin birth, but the third part that we want to look at is also his location of birth. Ah. So if you think about it, um, he had to be the Messiah. Ah. All of these things had to be fulfilled in order for... The baby to be born, to be considered the Messiah or the Divine Holy Son of God. Mika awonam ta'u kwe lima, fai kwe lua, e mau ai la le fola folana le a. A mau le fasa moa, tai ta fata si mai fa mole mole. I ya? A oe, de kwe te le emma e paranta, e ti ti oe i ya fe le uta, a e tu pu mai ya se oe moa au. In English it reads, But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are little among thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler in Israel. Uh, I will say, Tassi for you, Pirofeta, Oen, Valoia, 
le a fatsa na tsotsa wa ina pole tsana tsa pole tsa tsa ina fatsa na tsotsa wa ina o le nuku o le tsua tu tu sala mama isaia a so o le tasi fo ina yo perfecta na ya valo ia e ya ile temi e fa pea o na tsa tsa i fatsa na tsotsa wa ina be a be fa pua pua nga ina le nuku o le tsua e pa pelonia so when we look at the prophet micah so micah is another pre captivity prophet so he also was a prophet who was warning Israel about their sin, their idol worship. Was also warning the kings about their sin and their idol worship and taking the whole of Judah into um, into idol worship. But we also see here that at the same time that these prophets are prophesying about their coming judgment. They also prophesy about the fact that the Lord will prepare a way for salvation. Amen. 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 So this verse is a specific verse with regards to the Messiah. For many of us, we know that the people are always better than Emma, Eva, Rata, and Titi, or Iafe, or Yuta, and Tupu, Mai, Moau, or Le, Natsefai, Mafai, Pule, and Israel. O o se tsa sine yo ba lo anga tsa tso tseba ai ai. Um e e e le ai ma se me na le fa tsa mo winga e ye se tso e fa tsa tsa i lo na fa na mai o ia o le mesia a. E o o la ba i le me na fa na wai o ia tsa tso tseba ai ai na fa ma tso winga ai o ia o le mesia. That even in his birthplace was prophesied 700 years before he was born. To pinpoint exactly where the Messiah would be born, only God. Ah, that's how we can tell. That was only a God-determined fact. Amen? Amen. So only, you know, everybody has an idea of where they will be born. Ah, they'll be born in, you know, in a hospital. Or, but Jesus Christ, the, it was so specific as to where, where he was born. They even named the city, and the city was Bethlehem, and it was an insignificant city. Ah, it wasn't even Jerusalem. It could have been the main city, but no, it was a city in under Jerusalem, the south of Jerusalem. Ah, for me, or Lalo, if for Jerusalem, a yale to my idea, a more or better in him. Let away, Lord, my tattoo, if I tell me, and a better in him. Ah, I elevate me on fan of my own messiah, tattoo, I a polo calame at their tour. Or the men out of fear to the law to Motato, if you are feeling me, a fat out nuo in their tour, me a umma lava, a yo in fan of my own messiah. So even when we look at the, um, at the verse in Micah, that even the prophet, the Old Testament prophet was there to tell Israel, you want to be taken captive by Babylonia, by Nebuchadnezzar, the king. Uh, but there is a way, uh, there is a future savior on his way. And it says there that this future savior will be born in Bethlehem Ephrathah. It says, yet out of you shall come forth to me, the one to be ruler in Israel. It says there, whose goings forth are from of old, from everlasting. No one else can be described in that way, only the Messiah. Amen. Talu mai yana mua, talu mai yona po ole babau lava. I fa no mono upuna bet if I tau loy upuna, na le tasi lava litamata mafayona fa ata tau ye upuna ah, 
o aile mai ana mua o aile mai ona bo ole vavau o yesu kiriso that's at over i to see na fa alina ona no tsaku a mo mua fa ipo suma fitu o lo yai upu ya e fa tsatsau ya yesu kiriso a fa mai awa ete fefe o wa o le mua mua ma le muli muli upu ya yesu le to see fa alina fa mai o le ola nei lava sa o oti fa outa fo e o te ola e fa abavau Amen. Praise the Lord. That when we look in the book of Revelation, Jesus Christ says these words to John. When John stands in amazement of the one who's um, who's walking in between the lampstands. Ah, the lampstands representing the churches. But it says there in verses 17, it says, Jesus says, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. So this is Jesus in his reigning time. Ah, but when we look at the prophet Micah and it talks about he who is from of old, from everlasting, it can only point to the Messiah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I don't know too. Eo olava ile mea na fa na wai o petele ema le na folo fola ina ya mika. Praise the Lord. Then not only his heritage, not only his virgin birth, but we also look at his location of birth was pinpointed. And that can only mean that this baby was born. That was born was the Messiah. Amen. 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 Le apotato we ba ai ai i ba ina ya alba ina mul muli e mawal isaya lo nam tsaku e iba o se tsasi ne yo fa ni ko fi e fi la ba tsato e fa tsa wina e fa manatu e le kibi simasi e o te fi a o maya e fa manatu e fo i ya ya valo anga po upu fola fola Isaiah chapter nine verse six and this is one of uh, the most common texts that we use during Christmas sa uh, Isaiah nine verse six but it gives us the fourth part of the of the prophecies of Christ's birth. Amen? Amen. Amen. So this fourth one uh, is in Isaiah. Again, the prophet Isaiah, who's prophesying to the people of Israel, you will be taken captive, you will be taken to Babylon, you will remain there, but the Lord God will prepare a saviour. Ah, manatua, o le tusi la isaia, o le tusi tanata isaraelu, e o maio naso e sa wainu kwa anesan pa pelonia e lona mai mai a, a be e sea le nuo isaraelu, I found a yay, the laverina, ah, a yay, the laverina, the tiny ole, lumanai. Say, if I tell my life, I pray, oh no, for my mole, a wow of fan out here. A wow of fan out, my boys are told in summer, for four in a my boys are told in a city. A lona old man, oh, a more for you, a year of lacy, silly, say, only if I pull it, or there are two of my rossi, or it's a mile of a far away. Amen. In English, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. That's all about the Messiah. Ah, yeah. Or 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 fa or fa upu lea male moni mau lea a isaia e fa tatau lava ilo tato Messiah ile fa na mai ole Messiah. Ele iloi isaia a. E fitu se lauta o sanga fatu a fa nau le mesia. A e upu uma lava na tu sia e isaia e fata tau uma lava il mesia. Lena mo mo fa mai a wa u a fa nau mai mo ita tau le tama. O le lena le e fata tau ile tu tamata o le ano le tu a. Then when we look at the first line, it says, "For unto us a child is born." It talks to his humanity. That he came in the flesh. Yeah. Ah, he wasn't some far away God. No, this this God um, became immortal. Yeah. He became flesh. So that's talking to his humanity. For me, the no na dua. For me, wo fa ina mai mo itato le atadi. I have a ile le na na. For me, wo fa ina mai. Ah, le ale yo ane tolu fe kusuma le ono. Wa wo fa pe la ho na wo fa mai o le atua ile na rulangi. Wahia, aum ayai, lona tadi. Ah, 
Nona winga, ole laina nona lua lea, olo o tala noa ilo na itu wa tua. Praise the Lord. O whana o maile tama, tala noa ilo na itu ile tino, a whamai o whoa ina maile atari, olo o tala noa ile whoa wai ale atua, olo na itu atua. Praise the Lord. Okay, when we consider the second line, the first line, for as a child is born, so when a child is born, that's an indication of his humanness or his humanity. Second line, unto us a son is given. And only God gave us the Messiah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave. So when that's the second line there in the, in the prophecy of Isaiah talks to the divine side of Jesus Christ, Amen. of the Messiah. Amen. 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 Um, Eilo naua le ma lo. Ah, eilo naua le ma lo. Famai le faalina no no ta kwe se furu maleiva. Se su e yo ta to tu si famu moli. O i ta to te va a yei le Messia. I lo na teimi e a fio ma yei le ma lo e fa arubau. Famai le kwe se furu maleiva. Ah, o le faalina no no ta kwe se furu maleiva. Walu a tu fo i le pelu ma ai nai lo na fofonga. Ina ia tai a ai e ia onu uma. Mm-hmm. Le tama le fa mai fa na o mai mo itato le tama fa mai fo ina mai mo itato le atali fa mai o le atali le o ia ile tamio le ma lo e fa ba ba o le tamio le mesia fa mai o ia na te pule a e pule no na to to e fa ba ba we when we look at revelation chapter 19 this talks to the government upon his shoulders and verses 15 it reads now, out of his mouth, this is talking about Jesus Christ coming in his authority, his sovereignness. Ah, it says, now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should strike the nations, and he himself will what? Will rule them with a rod of iron. He himself treads the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. That's when we read the government upon his shoulders, this baby... This Messiah, he ultimately will rule it all. Amen? Amen. So this Old Testament prophecy, it says, For unto us a child is born, regarding his humanness. Unto us a son is given, regarding his deity, the fact that he is God. And then the government will be upon his shoulders. The small baby will one day rule all of heaven and earth. Amen. Amen. Ya tofi e tolu nai au mai e le tu si le o le isaia a. Fa mai o le mai no mo mua. O nai au mai e e e e se le sili sili e se male fai pule. A i lona fa mau mau ma. E taxi lava le tofi na le a. So o ia o le sili sili e se o le fai pule. When we read in Isaiah nine, it gives us three titles with regards to the Messiah. And the first title is Wonderful Counselor. O le upule fa sa mo a mai e sili sili ese pe ma fa yon fa fa pe e sili sili ese la na fa upule a o le winga e e fa ta ta le upule fa upule a ma e le tsema tsema fa yon a ba tu se fa fa tua a se fa tua a ma a ma fa 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 upule a a ma na mi se so so ni ta te o i ta to fa upule e a ma e se fa tua ma po se po se a fe so so ni a sa o so if I pray now, let up pull it. Ile if you want to pray, to if I touch you, Ile Messiah. Ah. So let us pray. 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 Ah, ole upu fa atu tala ina ole upu na pele e fa apea ona ole tamata e au maya ile fautuanga ole fesoswani pe na upu fa sa moana e fa awinga ile upule 
le sili sili esse ole fai puli. So when we think about the word, he's a wonderful counsellor. And when you consider a counsellor, when you go and seek help, uh, mm. the word wonderful comes from the, comes from the uh, Hebrew word peli. And the word peli means one who gives counsel. Uh, so that's the, uh, that's the meaning of the word uh, wonderful counsellor. Uh, and the meaning of the word counsellor is extraordinary counsel. So if you consider this prophecy with regards to Jesus Christ, uh, extraordinary counsel, extraordinary one who gives counsel, that's the Messiah that's born. Uh, that, that's the Messiah that's born. And only Christ, uh, only he who is an extraordinary counsellor, and it says that he's a wonderful counsellor. Well, let's see, Moana El Maye Mole Messia, for my Olea Tua Ma Rossi, Ele Nata Nate, Al Maya Se Fautu Wanga Yate Oe, I Olona Ma Rossi Anga Foi, E Ma Rossi Ae Oe. Amen. That not only um, the second uh, name he's given, wonderful counsellor, he's a mighty God. Another Old Testament prophecy about this Messiah is that he's not only giving us extraordinary counsel, and we can see that through the work of his word, the work of his scriptures, the work of the Holy Spirit, that's, how, that's his divine sign, but it says that he is a mighty God. Not only that he gives us words of wisdom and counsel, but he also gives the power to activate that word of comfort and word of counsel. Amen? Praise the third title there, so if you want to see if I'm going to say that Isaiah is going to be a little bit, if you want to say Isaiah is going to be a little bit, Amen? So you want to say that Isaiah is going to be a little bit, but you want to say that Isaiah is going to be a little bit, but you want to say that Isaiah is going to be a little bit, but you want to say that Isaiah is going to be a little bit, but you want to say that Isaiah is going to be a little bit, but you want to say that Isaiah is going to be a little bit, but you want to say that Isaiah is going to be a little bit, but you want to say that O oe iowa, o lo maatou ta maoe, o le na faata wina i maatou, mai yana mua la lava lo suwa. So i fo, fai tawi fo malesi i tūna, fai koe valu o le ono suma fa, a o le nei, i o vai, o oe lava lo maatou ta maa, o e maatou nei o le o mea, a o oe o le tufunga, Praise the Lord. Amen. That when we consider the third title given to this Messiah, he's a wonderful counselor, he's a mighty God, he's an everlasting Father. And I've given there some texts from Isaiah 63. Uh, in verse 16 and 64 verse 8. And in the last title that we see here, with regards to this Old Testament prophecy, we see that he is the Prince of Peace. Amen? Amen. 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 Familia Romana e Lima fai pu mua mua o ia o tato le lei ai malia tua o lei si fili mu tato te maua a o le fili mu le tala no mai ele tu se Filipi alona mu tato kwe fa fai pu e fitu se i fai tau mai ele tu si na fa mo mo ya fai fai le Filipi alona mu tato kwe fa fai kwe fitu fai mai o le manu mi a fo i mai le tua o lo o si li si li lava i me a u na e manatu i ai so, so, 
Watatu leneye imale atua, watatu file mua imale atua, lua, watatu mawai e itatoule file mu. Ah, e mawai e itatoule manuia maile atua. E sili sili lava imea umu malama tatu temanati yei. Male file mu lo na tolo lo yei le mesia, o ia foi na te aumaia le file mu ile malo e faa bavau. And when we look at that last title, it says he is the Prince of Peace. And there's three um, definitions of peace that I brought there from Romans 5, verse 1. We have peace with God because of Jesus Christ, because of this Messiah. Um, in Philippians 4, uh, verse 7, it says that we have inner peace. That's where it talks about you will receive the peace that surpasses all understanding. Amen. Amen. Because of Jesus Christ. And then the third piece is a future peace, which he will rule in the kingdom of peace. Amen? Amen. So when we consider this final prophecy in Isaiah 9, 6, it talks to the spirit-filled Messiah. It talks to the power-filled Messiah. So we've looked at four things today. Amen? Amen? We've looked at his heritage, prophecy about his heritage. We've looked at his virgin birth, prophecy about his virgin birth. We've looked at his location of birth. He was born in Bethlehem. And the final part, that he was even prophesied with regards to being a spirit-filled Messiah, a powerful Messiah. Amen? Amen. 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 Tato va ai foi ile mea na fana wai o betere e ma. Ma va ina muli muli lea na folo folo ina foi o ia o le mesia e fa atu muina e le anganga. O ia foi o le mesia e ia ile ma alosi ma le mana. Amen. Amen. Ale fisi ni la. Ai se ai tau ai a. Ai se ai tau ai ia folo folo la. Ai se ai tau ai ia te oele tangata fa atu atua. Lay lone lay, or lay a super riso there, no follow for laina le fenning at two way, lay a wolf at our nuina le fenning a fall. Why is it important? I guess that's the question. Because remember on Sunday we learned, yeah, it's one thing to have all the knowledge. But why is it important that we understand that this Old Testament prophecies that we've just walked through, why is that important for us? Or if I wait it at all, Mofutanga le nefia, ah. Or the mafu angaita hua ya te oe le tangata fa atua tua. Mua mua, ia e i loa le le, le Yesu ke riso le tusi pa ia, o le Yesu ke riso na folo folo ina mai e le atua ha. Be i laba o na sao nia e le atua o le au malo le fa au la tanga mo isara e lu. E le i su ia le a lo fa le na o le atua mo i tato. E fa amba natu wa i le fa anau mai o le mesia. Praise the Lord. So when we consider why Isaiah why did Isaiah prophesy about the coming wrath of God? And then he prophesies about the coming rescue of God. Amen? Why did the prophet Micah also warn them about the coming um, destruction from God because of God's wrath about their sin? But then continues to uh, prophesy as well that God will prepare a saviour who will be born in Bethlehem. That hasn't changed today. Amen? That the birth of Jesus Christ reminds us ultimately about the salvation yes. through Jesus Christ. O le whānau mai e mesia, e whāma natu ai a te i tātou, le māwhua anga na whānau ai o ia. O le māwhua anga na whānau o ia, i na ia tupu ae o ia, i na ia maliu, i le sātou, i na ia tamu mia o ia, i na ia toetu mai, i na ia sau mia e ia le le lenga mo i tātou, ma le atua. I na ia whaolaina i tātou. That's the reason why his birth is so important. For us believers, it's important for us to understand that his birth was confirmed prophecies of the Old Testament. Amen? Amen. And it's absolutely important. And I brought this final verse from John chapter 20, verse 31. And this word here is, um, and this was John right at the end of his gospel. Uh, and he says, I've written this whole book about Jesus Christ. And this is the reason why. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ. That Jesus is the Son of God. And that believing 
you may have life in his name. But the key of all of the things that we talk about and share about with regards to the gospel is that we may believe in the Son of God, Jesus the Christ. Amen? Amen. So be blessed today, brothers and sisters. Amen. Let us pray and we'll finish off uh, the word of the Lord and then we'll hand it over to Dad at the Lord's table. Lord, as we consider the Old Testament prophets, Micah and Isaiah, talking about the prophesying birth of the Messiah and Jesus Christ coming and fulfilling those prophecies, then we know and understand that your plan was sovereign. And so, Father, we commit to you our prayers today. We pray for those who have yet to make a decision for salvation, that you would stir their hearts to the things of you. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now until forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.